Hi, this is David with Hanson Carlin Architecture and Construction, and today we're going to talk about a quick review of the Heat and Glow Foundation Bay 5 fireplace. And we just saw it turn on there. This is Toby, and Toby did the installation of it. Um, uh, Toby, uh, tell me about this thing and how you put it in, and a little bit about it. Um, it was pretty straightforward putting it in. Um, I think the biggest thing was our clearances to make sure all the clearances were good to go. Um, you know that it's it was kind of a freestanding unit, so the biggest thing is just making sure everything goes in, um, you know, according to plan. Yeah, this was a this was something we had never done before. This was the first time on this. What was weird about this was this thing comes in two pieces, so yeah. you, the, what you'd call it a hood, wouldn't you? Yeah. O over the top, and then what, how did you hold that hood up? So that was one interesting thing about it. Um, it's actually not setting on the floor; it's hanging from the ceiling. So the whole unit, um, it, it literally just comes down and then it's, it's hung from the ceiling. On what? Uh, threaded rod. So, so and you can and adjust that it, up. And so it's adjustable. You can go, you know, left and right, um, forward, back. Yeah. Um, it just barely rests on the floor, and you no, know, and it's really got a cool look to it. Was that uh, where where are those lights coming from? Are they down under the glass? So LEDs underneath the. It's crushed glass in the bottom in there. And then there's LED light strips that go all the way around the flame. Um, and then the nice long uh, flame bar there. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful look. It's, it's a beautiful fireplace. So, yeah, yeah. Sure super is. happy with the, with the product itself, too. Did you notice, did you notice there's, with, that there's two sets of glass on there? I wonder, what do you think there about There is. It? So, um, you know, it, it makes sense um, to have a little bit of insulation in there. Um, obviously that glass is going to get hot, you know, no matter how much flue you have going through it, it's going to get hot, but um, having that insulation in there, you know, you should be able to still walk up to it and touch that glass and not worry about, about it being too hot. So, so it just gives you a little damper. It didn't come with this part. This is something we added on. What was, be so behind here, what, what is this? Is this like a big metal thing coming up here? How is no, this so, uh, it's a low clearance um, fireplace, so you know there's only there's six inches clearance here. So we built a box around it, um, keeping our clearances in mind. And then you know the, the cabinet guys, they did such a wonderful job wrapping it uh, with the oak to make everything look all nice and finished. Mm -hmm. um, and then it turned out did, right. did this come with it? No, nope. uh, mantle's all custom. Um, we just had our granite guys finishing this up yesterday. Uh, the guys from yeah. Coolform did a great job with it. You can see the way that's mitered. They yeah. mitered that. Mitered the course. So, and then this was another interesting thing. A lot of times the granite guys won't, uh, they won't miter this front edge. So this is actually mitered so that this comes up and this comes out. So you don't even see that edge there. This yeah, is two I pieces. I can't see that at all, even looking at it close. Yeah, and then so. this here is something that uh, you put on too then, Toby, this uh -huh. stone underneath. And that matches kind of bringing, the, bringing the outside in, if, um, these patio doors here. There's the rock outside, so it just kind of brings the outside in where this is such a good in, inside outside space. Do you know, do you know, can this, this unit be installed where it's vented out the back? I don't think so. I don't believe so. I believe this one needed to go vent uh, through the roof. Um, it does have a powered vent. Um, so, so meaning what powered vent? So uh, the vent up on the roof um, is powered. It has a fan inside of it that will, that will suck all of this, um, I, I guess you See would it. say heat, um, but, but CO2, the yeah, CO2 yeah. And, and all that uh, to keep everything nice and safe inside. Yeah, but it's a what I'm what I'm really impressed about this is sometimes uh, fireplaces, uh, you know, have a lot of blue to them. Mm -hmm. This hardly has no blue. Oh, I don't know yeah. why. It really, yeah. it really looks great. Um, we're going to take a look at the basement because there's a weird thing about this too. <laughs> um, uh, you know, this was a normal fireplace was like maybe a day install, but this was like. Uh, maybe a week maybe closer to a week probably <laughs> yeah so but like we said you know this is the first time we've done one like this so yeah yeah and, and um you know i guess it goes without saying a, a unit like this is you know three four five times the cost of a standard unit so what we're doing here is um we have this we're going to put a, a finish stick in here to finish this off we're going to get that installed there and uh I think this is going to be one of the nicer fireplaces we've ever done. Beautiful unit. Yeah. Talk about that fireplace more. What's this thing here, Toby? We talk about so, this. So we boxed this out. Um, this is all just, just framing, um, drywall over top. 
The reason it's here is because inside we have our intake air for that fireplace, which is directly above us right here. So this will go into the bottom of that fireplace, come along all the way out here. And then because we have a, because we have a concrete deck on the other side, we had to come all the way over here to get uh, fresh outside air to it. So this is all, I want to say 10 inch pipe. It was big. Ten, yeah. yeah, big. It's, it's, it's a big unit. So uh, 10 inch pipe comes around, goes behind our box here. And uh, that's where we get our intake air for it. And did you use, so, you use uh, hard pipe or flex pipe or what did you use? Hard pipe on this one, all hard pipe, uh, sealed hard pipe. So everything it gets will be outside air. It won't suck any air from the house. I'm keeping everything inside, inside and outside, outside. Yeah, yeah, and maybe that's how why that flame is so pretty is because it gets all of that air from both sucking and pushing, mm -hmm. and it makes that so yellow and pretty. But anyway, I would say, uh, what what would you you know on a on a one to five give that fireplace there? We're kind of giving it a review today. Hi, I I think it's gorgeous. It's 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 a five fireplace. Um, yeah, probably the install is probably like a two though. Well, <laughs> it, it our... wasn't horrible. You know? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It, it wasn't horrible. I mean, you know, it, we. We take our time and make sure it's done right and you know, as long as yeah. it's done right if you do it once it's not so bad so yeah the problem is is you know when you do something once like if it's 10 years between them and it's like oh i don't live weird in that one now anyway so uh we would give a thumbs up to the heat and glow bay five uh fireplace and uh we'll see you next time thank you